Have you ever wondered what makes perovskite solar cells better than the ones we use today? Well, today's your lucky day because we are about to dive right into the heart of this fascinating topic. Imagine a world where the energy of the sun is harnessed more efficiently, more sustainably, and at a lower cost. That's the promise of perovskite solar cells. But what exactly are they? How do they stack up against the traditional solar cells we're used to? Are they truly more cost-effective? And most importantly, could they be the future of solar power? These are all questions that we'll be exploring throughout this video. We'll be demystifying the world of perovskite solar cells, examining their benefits, their drawbacks, and their potential to revolutionize the way we think about solar power. So buckle up as we embark on a journey of solar enlightenment. To begin with, let's clarify what perovskite solar cells are. In the simplest terms, perovskite solar cells are a type of solar cell that uses perovskite-structured compounds as the light-harvesting active layer. But let's break that down. The term perovskite refers to the crystal structure of the material used in the cell, named after Russian mineralogist Lev Perovsky. This structure is known for its unique properties that make it ideal for solar applications. It's like the secret recipe to your grandma's famous cookies. It's all in the ingredients and how they're put together. Now imagine the solar cell as a sandwich. The bread of this sandwich are layers that transport electric charge while the filling is the perovskite material that absorbs sunlight. When sunlight or photons hit the perovskite layer, they can knock loose electrons, creating an electric current. In essence, these cells convert sunlight into electricity, a rather neat trick, don't you think? What's interesting about perovskite solar cells is their efficiency. Traditional silicon-based solar cells have been around for decades but they're reaching their theoretical efficiency limits. On the other hand, perovskite solar cells, although a relatively new player in the game, have seen their efficiency skyrocket in a short span of time. It's like the new kid on the block showing the old-timers how it's done. But it's not just about efficiency. Perovskite solar cells are also flexible and lightweight, unlike their rigid silicon counterparts. Think of it as the difference between a hardcover book and a flexible e-reader. Both can give you a good read, but one is certainly easier to lug around. Now that we've defined what perovskite solar cells are, let's delve into what sets them apart. Stick around as we uncover the reasons why these cells might just be the future of solar energy. It's going to be a bright discussion. You may ask, why are we even talking about perovskite solar cells? Aren't the ones we have good enough? Well, to answer your question, we need to look at the differences between perovskite and traditional solar cells. Let's start with efficiency. Traditional solar cells, made from silicon, have an efficiency rate of about 20%. That's pretty good, right? But here's the kicker. Perovskite cells can reach efficiencies of up to 30%. That's a third more power from the same amount of sunlight. Now let's talk about flexibility. Silicon solar cells are rigid and brittle. They need to be handled with care and they don't bend. This limits where we can install them. On the flip side, perovskite cells are flexible, lightweight, and can even be made transparent. This opens up a world of possibilities from solar-powered windows to wearable tech. Next, there's the matter of production. Traditional solar cells require high temperatures and costly materials which makes them expensive to manufacture. But perovskite cells, they're a game-changer. They can be produced at low temperatures using affordable materials. This means they could potentially be much cheaper to produce on a large scale. Then there's the issue of toxicity. Silicon cells are pretty safe but they do contain small amounts of harmful elements like lead. Perovskite cells however, can be made with non-toxic alternatives, making them a greener option. Now it's important to note that perovskite cells are still in the developmental stage, they're not quite ready for prime time yet, but the potential is there, and it's huge. So while our traditional solar cells are indeed good, perovskite cells might just be even better. They're more efficient, flexible, potentially cheaper to produce, and potentially less toxic. It's clear that perovskite solar cells have their perks. But let's talk numbers. Are they more affordable? Well, stay tuned to find out. We're just getting to the good part. So, we've established that perovskite solar cells are more efficient, but does efficiency come with a high price tag? Let's delve into that. Perovskite solar cells are made up of a new type of material that's not only abundant but also relatively cheap to produce. The perovskite material can be synthesized in a laboratory from common elements like lead and iodine. This makes the raw material cost for perovskite solar cells significantly lower than that of traditional silicon-based solar cells. In addition, the manufacturing process of perovskite solar cells is less energy-intensive. 
Unlike conventional solar cells, which require high temperatures and expensive equipment to produce, perovskite solar cells can be manufactured at low temperatures using simple techniques like inkjet printing. This not only reduces the production cost but also makes perovskite solar cells a more environmentally friendly option. However, it's also important to note that the cost of a solar cell isn't just about the material and manufacturing costs. Longevity and efficiency also play a crucial role in determining their overall cost effectiveness. While perovskite solar cells have shown great promise in terms of efficiency, their longevity is still a subject of ongoing research. Nevertheless, the rapid advancements in this field suggest that the issue of durability will be resolved in the not-too-distant future. Once that happens, perovskite solar cells could potentially be much cheaper than traditional solar cells, both in terms of upfront costs and long-term energy generation costs. But what about the cost to the consumer, you may wonder? Well, given that perovskite solar cells are still in their development phase, it's hard to provide a definitive answer. However, if the trend of decreasing costs continues, it's reasonable to expect that perovskite solar cells will become an affordable option for the average consumer in the coming years. As we can see, the cost of perovskite solar cells is another factor that makes them a promising alternative. But are they really the future of solar energy? We'll explore this in the next segment. It's time to look ahead. Are perovskite solar cells the future of solar energy? Perovskite solar cells are like the new kid on the block, bringing a fresh perspective and a whole lot of potential. Their impressive energy conversion efficiency, combined with the tantalizing prospect of low-cost production, makes them a compelling contender in the solar energy market. But what exactly does their future hold? There's no denying that the world is in dire need of sustainable and affordable energy sources. With climate change knocking on our doors, the transition to renewable energy has never been more urgent. And that's where perovskite solar cells come into the picture. They promise not just a greener future, but also a more economical one. However, let's not get carried away. Every silver lining has a cloud, and perovskite solar cells are no exception. One of the main hurdles standing in their way is their longevity. While they might be efficient and cheap to produce, they're not quite as durable as their traditional counterparts, at least not yet. But here's the thing. Innovation is all about overcoming challenges, right? Scientists and researchers worldwide are working tirelessly to improve the durability of perovskite solar cells, and their efforts are bearing fruit. The lifespan of these cells has been increasing steadily over the past few years, and there's no reason to believe this trend won't continue. Another challenge worth mentioning is the use of lead in perovskite solar cells. Lead, as we all know, isn't exactly a friend to the environment, but again the wheels of innovation are turning. Safer alternatives to lead are being explored and it's only a matter of time before they're integrated into the production process. So, are perovskite solar cells the future of solar energy? Well, they certainly seem to be heading in that direction. Their potential is undeniable, and the challenges they face are not insurmountable. Indeed, the future looks bright for perovskite solar cells, but, as with any innovation, only time will tell. Well folks, we've journeyed through the world of perovskite solar cells today. We've unraveled the mystery of what they are, a new kind of solar cell with a structure derived from a mineral called perovskite. We've delved into how they stand up against traditional solar cells, discovering that they're not just keeping up, they're potentially outperforming them in terms of efficiency and flexibility. We've also tackled the question of cost, learning that while they may initially be more expensive, their superior performance and lifespan could make them a worthwhile investment. And finally, we've speculated about the future of perovskite solar cells, concluding that they're a bright beacon of possibility in the renewable energy landscape. Remember, the sun is the ultimate source of energy, and with perovskite solar cells, we might just harness it more efficiently. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening videos. Until next time, keep shining bright.